good evening in india the tigers are counted once in 4 years elephants are counted once in 5 years and this counting is done separately because these two are different animals but for the first time in the history of india the count of tigers and elephants is going to be done together this is going to happen in the year 2022 why so because 80% of the geographical area where these animals are found that is common meaning they live in the common place and 80% of the geographical area is common that is the reason why the government wants to go for the unified combined counting of these animals and if you look at the numbers in india the elephant count the elephants number is much higher than the number of the tigers apart from this i want you to remember two more important things july 29th is celebrated as world tiger day and august 12th is celebrated as international elephant day please remember these two points because you know in some of the examinations international days are being asked so obviously whenever you come across with any international day please make a note of that one and keep revising that if that is asked in the examination we will be getting a mark now i would like to open the document and share the details with you look at this how tiger and elephant population are counted look at this the central government will for the first time meaning this year 2022 will present a unified count of tiger leopard and elephant population in the country and if you look at the tiger survey this is held once in 4 years and elephants once in 5 years according to the latest and the most recent survey with respect to tigers this is the number in india similarly according to the last count for elephants 2017 the number is 29964 clear please remember next another important thing that july 29th is celebrated as international tiger day august 12th is celebrated as world elephant day clear and when it comes to elephant numbers that would be estimated by the states based on dna analysis of their dung droppings and statistical techniques earlier the government used to go with the head count technique during that time you know there is always a possibility of duplication that is the reason why government is looking for alternative methods now when it comes to the tigers tigers are counted by deploying camera traps identifying individuals based on stripes as well as a statistical analysis similarly tiger scat and its dna analysis is usually used when camera traps are impractical to deploy right meaning whenever it is a different terrain you cannot place the cameras that is the reason why their tiger scat and the dna analysis will come into the picture otherwise in rest of the places you deploy the cameras and trap these uh, tigers based on their individual stripes you can count them because elephants are more than tigers and hard to tell apart from the camera trap images alone it's more economical and feasible to use their dung for identification earlier head count method was there now it is obsolete and in the year 2012 according to the government the number of elephants was 27312 right and this was collected from the 23 states and if you look at this number this is considered to be a decrease huge decrease from 29576 
which was the figure in the year 2012 meaning there is a reduction in the number but what happened kerala kerala government has clarified that under under counted almost 2700 elephants meaning kerala government said we have under counted not counted wrongly counted almost 2700 elephants right and that is the reason why if you combine that one the number is becoming 29964 clear very 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 important one so this is how the the figure will change from time to time 2017 you got one figure 2019 the figure has been changed because of the admission of a mistake by the kerala government clear now and why this happened in kerala because kerala relied on direct count method and then switched to an indirect method clear because the count has shown decline kerala was worried why there is a decline then they switch to the indirect method and they got the exact elephant population so right with this with the common estimate what will happen resources will be saved time and energy will also be saved and this is for the first time that a robust scientific method based on statistical techniques will be implemented kindly remember 80% of the area occupied by both animals is similar right very very important one kindly remember they will ask you in the examination in which year the government decided to go for combined count of tigers and elephants and your answer should be 2022 that's all for the day i'll see you in the next session thank you so much